this tutorial showing you how to go about 3D printing your mic back files. So if you purchased the mic back digital files, you will have a folder with a couple different things. You'll see three models here and a readme uh, with a link to the website as well as the copyright information. So you need to choose which one of these you want to print depending on the microphone or microphones you have. For this example, we're going to start with the mic back NTG. You will also need some, obviously a 3D printer, but also some kind of slicing software. I use Prusa Slicer uh, because it works great and has a lot of fantastic features, uh, but you can of course go with anything and you know that's gonna look a little different, but I wanted to show you at least how to print these and the orientation that is going to work best. So we're gonna go back to Finder here. I'm gonna grab this file here and drop it into uh, Prusa Slicer. So there we have the model. Obviously this is not a very good way to print it. So what I'm gonna do is select the model and I am going to choose the place on face tool and select this face. Now, all I'm really doing here is rotating 90 degrees. So I could do that with the rotate tool, but I have that slick little tool here in uh, Prusa Slicer. So this is the orientation that I would recommend printing. You'll notice that everything is either mostly vertical or at a 45 degree angle. So this ought to do the trick. And this is how we print all of the files if you were to purchase one of these um, from us the actual physical 3d print this is how we do it and from here you can choose whatever kind of quality settings you go with if you're going to be printing on a prusa printer and you're going to be using slicer this is the setting we use right here 0 0.20 quality uh, the preset that comes with prusa printers then i would just hit slice and in a smooth hour and 10 minutes we would have this print done. Let's hop back into Finder and grab those other two files. And really, honestly, it's just the same thing for these guys as well. So we're just gonna flip these over and this is how each of these would be printed. So they're a little different as you can see here, the dimensions are slightly different depending on you know the microphone you have, but all three of them are going to be printed on their backs like this. So that's really it, very straightforward, very simple stuff and uh, you shouldn't need any supports so turn that stuff off everything should print just fine as long as you print it on its back like this and of course you can print a higher quality if you want you know you could go with something like 0.15 quality that's totally up to you so that's gonna wrap this one up thank you guys so much for watching and of course if you want to learn more you can head over to cameraFoundry.com.